So back in our application, again, I got the front end opened here in one window and the back end in another Visual Studio Code window next to it. Now it's all about accepting files both on the front end as well as the back end. And it's up to you where you want to start. I would say let's start at the front end so that we have a file right away which we then can send to the back end so that we then as a next step can work on accepting that file on the back end. Now on the front end I got two places where I want to accept files. One is the auth page where new users can authenticate, where they can sign up. When you do sign up, I also want to offer a possibility for the user to provide an image or not just a possibility, you have to provide an image. So that's one place you should provide an image here. The other place where I also want to accept the file is in the places area in the new place component. When you add a new place, besides adding title, description, address, and so on, I also want to ensure that you have to provide an image for that place. Because we are using images for places and for users, and I have these really nice dummy images here, well, would be nice to replace them. So, in order to do that, I will build an image picker and I will build a brand new component for that, which we can reuse both on the new place as well as the off page. So in form elements, in shared components form elements, I will add an image upload.js file. And of course you can name this however you want. Attached, you also find an image upload.css file, which you can just copy into this shared components form elements folder so that in the image upload.js file or in the image upload component we're about to build, you have the right stylings later. Of course, you can always tweak them to your personal preferences. We'll build the image upload component together from scratch now. And in there, of course, I will import React from React, what we always did. I'll set up my image upload component like this, whoops, like this, accepting props from outside and then in there we'll later return some JSX. And of course, we have to export the component here so that we can use it in other files as well. Now also don't forget to import image upload.css to ensure that the styling gets applied. Now in the image upload component, I want to return some JSX code, of course. So let's write that markup for the image uploader together. Now, as mentioned, of course, there are different ways of building this. Here's just my way. I will add a wrapping diff, which has a class name of form-control. This class name, form-control, is provided in input CSS. And whilst you might think that we're only importing this here in input.js, don't forget that all these classes generally are available globally in the application. They're not scoped to a component. We're not using CSS modules or anything like that here. Hence, we can use the form control class also in the image upload component. Now in there, I want to add an input and that input will be of type file, which is a default input type supported by the browser. This input will also receive an ID of, let's say, props ID and also a little inline style here, just a quick and dirty solution where I set display to none. This is how you set inline styles in React. You set an object to that style prop and then you have your CSS properties on the left as keys and then the values here on the right as values. Well, and I use display non here because I actually want to hide this input. With display non, it's still part of the DOM, but it's not visible. Because I will expose a button to the user, which the user can click to bring up that file picker. I don't want to show this file picker itself because it's relatively ugly. So I will hide it here, set the type to file and set accept here to .jpg, comma, .png, comma, dot jpeg with an e. So these are the file extensions which a user is able to select then later. Now of course as I said this is hidden. So to show it I also want to render a button and for that I will import the button component from dot slash button like this. Below this input here but inside of that surrounding div, I'll therefore add a new nested div. This div receives a class name of 
image upload. And actually, I want to be a bit more flexible there. So I will wrap this and put this into a template literal with backticks. Because I also want to check if we do have a center prop being set equal to true or being set at all. And if it is, I also want to add a center class here. This allows us to later control how the image preview, which we'll add, and the picker button will be positioned if they're centered or not. So inside of this new div, I'll add yet another div here. And that div receives a class name of image dash upload underscore underscore preview because I want to show a preview of the picked image. In there, we need an image element, therefore. And here we'll need to set the source to something and the alt to something. I'll set the alt to preview. The source is something we will come back to. Now, outside of that div here, so of that preview div, but inside of this div, I'll then add my button. And there, I'll just say pick image. Now, of course, we have to set a type here and I'll set this to type button so that it doesn't accidentally submit any form which we might have around our image upload component later. And I will of course add an on click listener. So this on click prop to point at a function that should execute when the button is clicked. And for this, we can add a function here, the pick image handler. The pick image handler should be triggered whenever we click this button. And in the pick image handler, I, in the end, want to make sure that we open this built-in file picker so that we utilize this input component, which is invisible, but which, if we could click it, would open up a file picker. So, therefore, to simulate a click on this, we have to get access to this input element and then just call its click method. And to get access, we can use a reference. So we can import use ref from react and now not use it to store some value which survives re-render cycles, but instead to store a value which, well, which actually does survive re-render cycles, but which most importantly establishes a connection to a DOM element. So here I'll have my file picker ref created with use ref and set this here on input by adding the ref key and pointing at file picker ref here. And then in the pick image handler, we can use file picker ref dot current and then call the click method. This method exists on this DOM node and it will open up that file picker. So we utilize the input element without seeing it. That's my idea here. Now, when this gets clicked, the file picker opens and once the user chooses a file, on change fires on this input. So here we have to provide a function that should be triggered once the user picked a file. So here I'll add my picked handler function where I get an event object and I will wire this up to on change here, picked handler. And now here in the picked handler, the goal is to generate uh, something that helps us preview that file down there. And of course, to then also forward the file to the surrounding component where we use the image upload component in. So for the moment here, I'll just console log event.target, which is the file input in the end, and see what's in there. And now let's go to our auth page here and import this component. Of course, we're not done with it yet, but for the moment we can already use it. So I'll import image upload from shared components, form elements, image upload, and use that here in the auth page. There, my idea is that just as with the name, the name input here, I only want to show this image upload button if we are in sign up mode. So I'll have the same check here. If we're not in login mode, then I want to render image upload like this. And for the moment, it can be as simple as that. I'll just forward an ID here, and that's the image ID. This ID will be picked up in the image upload component. For example, I bind it here to this input. If we now save that and this reloads and we go to authenticate and switch to sign up mode, we see our file picker here. Now it would be nice if that would be centered. So back in the off page, I will add this center prop to image upload. And now if I switch back to sign up, we see this is centered. Now that's nice, but of course, 
this doesn't look that great, seeing, well, no image at all. But what we can already see is if I click pick image, this file picker here opened up automatically and I can select an image there. And thereafter you see this log on the right, which logs this, well, this file picker element to the developer console. So this is generally working. Now we have to work on managing this file correctly, creating a preview and getting it into our form here so that we can submit this in the end.